you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 26th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god today our indian church celebrates its uh, republic day A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 8 verses 31 to 42. Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you'll be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing what Abraham did. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are indeed doing what your father does. They said to him, We are not in illegitimate children. We have one father, God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dear friends, Happy Republic Day. Devotion to our country is deeply rooted in our nature. It is a source of power and strength, inspiring noble ideals and heroic sacrifices. Loyalty to the country enhances a person's character. This comes by the proper use of freedom. The word freedom is not to be taken lightly, and Jesus certainly not, did not, since he knew how easily it would turn to license and bind a man to falsehood and lead to self-destruction. So he would work to liberate man and put him on the way to that wholesomeness that is at ease with God and fellow men. No one can claim this freedom by a natural privilege, either by being a descendant of Abraham or being born after 1947. A slave owner is as much as, as much or even more a slave than his subject. A slave owner is as much or even more a slave than his subject. Just as Christ invited the Jews to imitate the faith of Abraham rather than make a nominal appeal to descendants from him. So also he invites us Indians to confront our freedom and respond courageously to call the God, call of God in this particular moment of his history. It is a far cry from ethnic preten- pretentious and caste peculiarities. One who refuses Christ makes a pact with forces of falsehood and hands himself over to the culture of death. So what we do what do we see in Jesus? Here is one who scouted the claims of the Pharisees, denounced the false certainties of a frozen religion, and invited people's faith in him as a ground of their freedom. Yes, just as just when the opposition touched a very high point of tension, Jesus affirmed that he is greater than Abraham himself. In fact, he attributes to himself the supreme title of divine liberator of all peoples. I am. I am will lead us into freedom. 
and the future of unlimited possibilities even if it means going by way of the cross and hardship when as a nation we have put aside our khabris on false sense of independence and allowed the one who is greater than abraham to take over our lives we shall realize that what the true freedom of god's republic is yes while to the present leaders we pledge our cooperation we recall with affection the leaders who have died so also brave soldiers who shed their blood on the field of battle a nation that forgets its past as no future and deserves none the future as far as we can see is shallow in trials and calls on our courage but the best stories of heroes are about those striding bravely into an unknown tomorrow full of risks so trusting in one's one another's loyalty and above all in the god of exodus who will lead us we march with strong heart and firm steps for we have many miles to walk and many promises to keep let's pray bless our beautiful land india o oh lord with its a wonderful variety of people of races cultures and languages may we be a nation of laughter and joy of justice and reconciliation of peace and unity of compassion caring and sharing we pray this prayer for the true patriotism in the powerful name of jesus our lord amen Happy Republic Day.